Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Yo guys, Jonathan here, and if you picked up one of the new iPhones, whether it's the 11, the 11 Pro, or the 11 Pro Max, these are some of my favorite accessories, and to make things even sweeter, I'm giving one of these away. It's your choice, just drop a comment down below letting me know what your favorite accessory is, and it's not required, but if you're excited to win, make sure you guys obliterate that like button. Before we hop in though, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, which is so epic. I gotta turn on the trailer voice. It packs the most immersive experience you find on a smartphone and the best part about it, it's free. There are nearly 10 million players worldwide, so it's growing fast. A huge update just dropped and there is a brand new rewards program for new players where you get a daily reward for the first 90 days of the game. So make sure you guys check out the description below. There are some special links that'll get you 50,000 silver and a free epic champion to kick off your journey. And again, big thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this portion of the video. So first up, if you own an iPhone, this might be the coolest battery bank I've ever seen. Like I know battery banks can tend to be boring, but this one is actually exciting. This is the PowerCore Plus 10,000 Pro from Anchor. I guess if you have a pro phone, you need a pro battery, but for real, this thing is awesome. Like the name implies, this thing packs 10,000 milliamps of power, it's MFI certified, there's a built-in lightning cable, and on top of that, this thing has two really cool tricks. First, there's a lightning port which does a couple of different things. You of course can charge the battery bank and the phone at the same time with a lightning cable, but what's really cool is there's lightning audio pass-through. So what that means is you can plug your lightning headphones into the battery bank, charge your phone, and listen to music at the same time, which is crazy cool. I've never seen that before on a battery bank. What absolutely ices the cake though, is this works the same as one of Apple's smart battery cases. So once you plug it in, you'll see two icons, one for your phone and then one for the battery bank. It will of course also show up in your battery widget on your home screen, similar to how AirPods work. And yeah, it's always nice having some sort of battery indicator on the battery bank itself, but having it on your home screen is next level. Now, one of the biggest features of iOS 13, of course, is dark mode. And with that, I think it makes Apple Music look night and day better. If you do use Apple Music, one big advantage there is that over Bluetooth, it will actually output AAC audio wirelessly. And it can be a little nerdy and a little technical, but the end result is if you find AAC compatible headphones, it's going to sound better. The Sony WH-1000 XM3 are definitely one of the more popular pairs of wireless headphones this year. Those feature AAC audio, but they're also really expensive. So I wanted to showcase something a little more affordable. These are the Audio-Technica ATH-SR30BTs. Build quality is good, it's not great. It's definitely one of the weaker points with these headphones, but in terms of sound quality, they actually really surprised me. The amount of low-end that comes out of these things is kind of crazy, considering they're on-ear, not over-ear. There's no USB-C or lightning port. You are stuck with crappy micro USB, but you do have built-in volume controls, which is nice. And I think this color really looks good with the iPhone 11 models. It's kind of hard to argue with for hundred bucks. And again, the biggest selling point here, if you picked up a new iPhone and you use Apple Music, is you're gonna take full advantage of wireless AAC audio, which is gonna sound way better than something like Spotify. Next, this is absolutely my favorite smartphone tripod mount combo of all time. You got the Beast Grip paired with the Beast Clamp. All kinds of beasts. You might as well pair this with a bang. If you come iPhone 11 Pro Max for you, this is actually what I use for the long exposure night mode shots. I think I got something crazy up to like 30 seconds. So this is going to keep things super stable. It is definitely on the pricier side and I'll post a few more affordable options down below. But again, I've never seen build quality like this on a smartphone tripod. Like you could knock someone out with this. Now, if I can avoid wires and go wireless, I usually will, but I've gone down this deep rabbit hole of audio lately, and that's where this guy comes in, the Dragonfly from AudioQuest. What it is, is this tiny compact USB DAC. You can use it with a computer, which I have, but I've also been using it with an iPhone combined with Tidal, which is mind blowing. Here I have two versions, black and red. The higher you go up, the better the DAC is, the better the sound quality is. But for most people, I would say the Dragonfly Black is going to sound infinitely better than that $9 special that you use with your iPhone to get a headphone jack. Even if you're not using something like Tidal or Lossus, you're still going to hear a huge difference. And if you are using Tidal, it is mind blowing. 
My combo has been the Dragonfly Red paired with the Bear Dynamic DT1990 Pros. And those two together, the sound quality is freaking ridiculous. Now, wireless charging isn't new to the iPhones this year, but if you're looking to scoop up a wireless charger, these from Carved are really unique. They're part wood, part resin. The end result is this really beautiful design. They come in a ton of different combinations and they absolutely stand out in a sea of other wireless chargers. It's really, really compact, which is perfect if you wanna take this on the go or just minimize space on your desk. And more importantly, it just works. You don't have to find the sweet spot, just set your phone down and boom, you are charging. Now for my audio heads and my musicians out there, these are a couple cool gadgets to help you capture better sound with your iPhone. The first is the Shure MV88 Plus, which is actually an entire video kit. You get a little tripod, a mount, and then it connects to your iPhone via lightning. It's stereo, so it's gonna work great for capturing acoustic guitar, ambience, or in my case, I use it to capture acoustic piano and vocals. There's also a Shure companion app where you can control the stereo width, the polar patterns, the bit depth. This will actually go up to 24 bit, 48 kilohertz. And there's also a built-in headphone output with the microphone, which is super useful. Now from there, maybe you already own a microphone and you just wanna get this into your phone. The iRig Pro is really useful for that. It's actually what I use to capture Emma's vocals. The microphone that I used is the Shure SM7B, which isn't crazy expensive, but it definitely requires a decent amount of gain to push it. And I was surprised with how clean the recording was, especially because I went directly into voice memos. The input is actually an XLR quarter inch combo. So if you wanna plug an instrument, you can do that as well. There's phantom power, it's compact. So if you wanna keep something with you at all times to capture music, this is perfect. Next up from there is this guy, the Libertone Zip Mini. Sounds great, looks awesome. That zipper is useless, but more importantly, this packs airplay audio. It is of course also a Bluetooth speaker, which is what most people will use. But if you have an iPhone, airplay audio is lossless and it sounds so much better than Bluetooth. It's technically AirPlay 2, so you can connect up to six of these and take advantage of multi-room audio. You got 10 hours of battery life, 360 degree sound, so it's almost like a portable HomePod mini, minus Siri, and it's $100 cheaper. By itself, if you were just using Bluetooth, it is a fantastic sounding speaker. But again, if you own an iPhone and can take advantage of AirPlay audio, it sounds even better. So those are some of my favorite iPhone 11 and 11 Pro accessories. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you missed my iPhone 11 Pro Max review, it is a monster. I'll link it up here and down below. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.